Hey YouTube, Josue with Cologne Attic back with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review of a Rasasi cologne that's not a clone of anything as far as I know. It's going to be Rasasi's Tasmine. Um, I'm going to do it all in one shot so it's just going to be a really quick video. I got into the, uh, I picked up the Tasmine based off a review that Jeremy Fragrance did. Um, obviously a lot of these Middle Eastern colognes you can't find in stores. So, like most of them, you have to buy, uh, buy the cologne based off a review. Um, Blind bought this, I believe it was on Beauty Spin for around like $30. Um, let me get into the notes of the actual cologne. The top notes are cardamom, artemisia, and cumin. The mid notes are rose, oris root, and the bottom notes are sandalwood, patchouli, amber, vanilla, and tonka bean. So basically what I get out of this cologne when I spray it on myself, I get a blast of cardamom and cumin. Um, if I had to give it a comparison, this is not a clone of this cologne, but I'm just, for those of you that don't know a lot or what different notes smell like, if I had to give you a comparison, since this is more of a popular cologne, imagine La Nuit de l'Homme by uh, Issey Laurent. Imagine that with an added note of cumin. Um, and to me, the cumin is a little strong. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of cumin, so to me, it's a little more, it's a little too strong for my taste. So you got that, you know, lot the cardamom with the cumin, and as the cologne starts to dry down, it starts to get a lot richer and creamier. You pick up some of that rose in the background, but then it starts to get sweet and creamy. You get that vanilla and that tonka bean, and it just overall turns out to be a sweeter, creamier, slash cumin version of La Nuit Del Om. I mean, that's the closest comparison that I can personally think of. Um, but Overall, it is a great fragrance. Personally, I felt like I would have enjoyed this cologne a lot more if that cumin note was a little less prominent, because um, you're gonna smell the cumin from beginning to end. Yes, it does die down as the cologne uh, dries down, but you're gonna pick it up all the way through. Um, and to me, it just throws me off a little too much to actually say, I enjoy it um, and just this is one that I've already traded in a cologne club so I'm gonna be shipping this off in the next few days it still is a great smell I could see a lot of people enjoying this if you like the cumin note and you like La Nuit del Om with an added sweet creaminess you'll more than likely enjoy this one it's got like I said it's got a really nice bottle um, I don't know if really nice cap there and lastly the performance and longevity out of this one it gets decent performance and longevity I would say you get anywhere from 8 to 10 hours of total scent life with maybe 2 to 3 hours in the beginning of actual projection but overall solid cologne just personally for me I'm not going to be wearing this because the cumin note for my taste is a little too much so that was my quick review of Rasasi's Tasmine. <music>